What's going on guys? So this week's episode of The Flash has came and went and I totally thought this episode was okay. Although I did love it because it had my favorite Flash Rogue in it, Mirror Master. That is right, we got to see Mirror Master and it was cool to see him working with Leonard Snart, aka Captain Cold, before the Particle Accelerator exploded, meaning that the Flash Rogues were already working together before there was even a Flash. We also got introduced to the gender bend version of the top, which was pretty cool because she is a love interest to Mirror Master and when the Particle Accelerator exploded, they both got powers. He got lost into the mirror universe or mirror world and she got the freaking ability to make people get all vertigo and shit. Which is pretty awesome. I thought the way the effects in this episode were pretty awesome. And that's the one thing I was worried about. I was like, man, how are they going to do Mirror Masters jumping in and out of shit? But I think they handled it really well. And I'm really interested to see what they're going to do next. And Mirror Master better get his damn costume. I don't want him wearing a freaking suit. No, 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 no. I want the damn orange and green freaking suit for Mirror Master. And I believe the actor has came out and said that he wants it too. So make it happen, Flash. You gave a good costume to Top. It paid homage to to Top's original freaking weird striped outfit thing. She had the skirt and stuff. You made that work. Make it work for Mirror Master. I do really hope that Mirror Master becomes a bigger character in this show again because he is my favorite Flash Rogue. But at the same time, I want to experience and explore Mirror World because they could really do some really fun stuff with Mirror Master, especially now that the Flash is starting to get allies in Wally West and Jesse Quick. Mirror Master has the ability to transport people through the Mirror World so he could easily just have reflections everywhere and have Leonard Snart come out and if, you know, if the whole Flash, I mean the freaking Flash rogues get together and start working together, he could have them just show up out of nowhere with freaking mirrors and I also want to know if they're going to do the whole breaking of the mirror thing where you get stuck in Mirror World if freaking mirrors work. Like, I want to see them explore all of that. I know this is the first episode he's in but give him his costume let's explore mirror world and man i could only imagine what if the flash rogues took on like flash and arrow and all that stuff like if there was a crossover where those rogues fought their rogues and like it would be awesome besides meeting the top and mirror master we also got to see a little bit more jesse quick training we got to see her in her suit work alongside with the flash see her have an epic fail when freaking top gave her vertigo which vertigo vertigo my brain sometimes just pfft. jesse quick's epic fail gets barry caught in the mirror world which it kind of sucks and i kind of want to know how she pulled the mirror off of a building but whatever so he got stuck in a freaking mirror and I wish he would have been able to explore mirror world but he said that it was just dark so that kind of sucks I wish he would have been able to do more in there but I guess you can't but sticking on the topic of Jesse quick did you guys see that uh, jelly kiss Ooh! Jelly in the house, freaking Jesse, Wally, Jelly. Oh yeah, freaking Jelly, saw that little smooch and I, man, Wally, what are you doing, bro? A freaking girl's into you, she kisses you and you're like, oh, you're gonna be leaving soon. What are you doing, bro? Like, dude, you're epic failing all over the place in this show. If a girl freaking likes you, Wally, you just go with it, man. Cause it, that, that, that doesn't happen all the time, dude. It doesn't happen all the time. I know from experience. Just go with it, homie. Anyways, we got to see Jelly be alive for a few seconds until Wally freaking killed everybody's dreams. Maybe there's still a little bit of hope when he gets his damn powers. They could finally go on speedster dates and shit. And we could finally have Jelly on this show. Also, did you guys catch on when Jesse Quick asked Wally like, Hey, so you don't get sick from the freaking speed runs? Ah, is that maybe because he's already, his body's getting used to the freaking powers that are coming or maybe his body remembers the powers from the alternate timeline so he doesn't get sick from the freaking speed force because he's going to be part of the speed force someday. I think so. From one weird relationship to the next, we saw freaking Barry and Joe getting all awkward when Barry wants to make out with Iris and he made the super fastest freaking speedster, which I gotta say, this, Barry, what Barry did when Iris' dad showed up and he just became ultimate speedster and changed everything and got a beer and freaking put out the candles and all that shit, Every guy has that ability in their life. Like, I'm telling you, I'm tell as a boy, like, if a girl's all like, hey, I'm gonna come over, and you're just like, oh, shit, my house is, my house is not clean, it's not clean, oh, shit, you're just like, oh. freaking every guy has the speed force when a freaking lady is coming over, or a boy, or whatever you're into, you have that speed force in you, because you're just like, oh, shit, I gotta clean up my, oh, fuck, motherfucker. 
So if your dream is to be a speedster, oh, it'll happen one day. Just wait until your crush or the love of your life is going to come over to your house and, and you don't even know they're coming and you got to clean up everything. You will be a speedster that day. But Barry, let's be real, man. You could have done a lot more than just making out with Iris before Joe opened that door, man. You are the fastest man alive. But then again, that might have not been a good thing for Iris. So maybe you made the right call, bro. Like I said before, this episode wasn't that exciting, but we did get the new Harrison Wells from freaking, what is this, Earth 19 or Earth Billion Philly and Jillian? I don't remember where this Wells is, but it was hilarious. Hell's Wells, why couldn't they pick Hell's Wells? He would have been freaking great. I want to see Hell's Wells on Legends of Tomorrow, and he should show up in the Jonah Hex episode whenever that's going to be, because I want to see Jonah Hex and Hell's Wells, buddy cop western drama. We got to meet so many variations of Harrison Wells because the Earth-1 crew wants their own Harrison Wells, and Harrison Wells from Earth-2 doesn't want to freaking stay because they got to clean up everything on their Earth, blah, 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 blah. So this storyline is going to happen for a few freaking episodes I'm assuming because there's no way they're not gonna have Earth 2 Harrison Wells stick around like I think he's always gonna be on that show and Earth 19 or whatever we're just gonna call hipster Harrison Wells freaking is gonna be on this show for a while but like Harrison Wells from Earth 2 said he has a gut feeling that you know maybe there's something up with this guy and we saw from the previews to the next episode oh I burped Cisco also feels there's something off about him and they're gonna start snooping on him so what do you guys think freaking Earth hipster Wells is going to do and be or what is his problem? I do think this Harrison Wells storyline was just an excuse to actually show off more of the multiverse and show that there is another billion trillion freaking planets out there. So it just opens up the possibility to other crazy things happening on the Flash show. Like, you know, the multiverse is infinite. It can do whatever they want. So it was pretty cool that they just really showed that off and it's not just Earth 1, Earth 2, Earth 3 and whatever Supergirl's on because we really don't know what that Earth is yet because, and that Earth doesn't freaking have a Harrison Wells, a Cisco Ramon or a Caitlyn Snow. So none of those people are on there and we don't know what Earth that is. So it can't be, I don't know, does Jay Garrick's Earth even have an Earth? Wells and shit, I don't really know, but it was just cool that we got to see the multiverse and it's gonna be interesting to see what they're gonna do with that storyline. Thought it was pretty funny that Cisco and Harrison Wells were having an epic name battle, freaking Mirror Master, he's like, dude, he's like, top, top, it's the top, you wanna go, you wanna go, son? Epic name battles, make that a show. One thing I do wanna ask you guys is what did Earth 2 Harrison Wells say right before he left? When Hipster Wells showed up and Harrison Wells was leaving, he was all like, oh yeah, guys, don't do this one thing or whatever he said. Said, what do you think he said? Is it gonna be something dramatic that we're gonna find out later and be like, oh my god, that's what that meant? Or is it something simple like, Barry, don't fuck up the timeline again? Which I feel like that might be what it is because I'm pretty sure if they really wanted to figure out what he meant, they wouldn't have said anything. I'm just trying to think of past episodes, which Harrison Wells has only been on this one and the last one. Did he say anything that might lead us to believe that, you know, something else could be happening down the line? I don't know. It's going to be really interesting. I'm not going to read too much into it, but I do want to know your guys' opinion. Do you think what he was meant to say right before he took off was something important, or was it just something along the lines of Barry, don't fuck up the timeline again? Earth 2 Wells also let Cisco know that their device didn't work, so they weren't the ones that released Barry from the freaking mirror world, meaning that somebody else did it. So does this mean that Cisco is going to start getting on Caitlyn's freaking tail and be like, what's going on with you, girl? You freaking kill a frost? You kill a frost? And we saw at the end of the episode, that freaking Caitlyn is becoming Killer Frost. She already started getting the blue lips. She got the white hair. She turned her freaking hot shower into an icy one. Oh man, what is this gonna mean? And she's the one that freaking got Barry out of the damn thing because she used her powers, which I think is what started to transform her because she actually started using them. I, this is gonna be really interesting, guys. I don't know where they're gonna go with Killer Frost because She's such a big part of the team. Like, she helps out the team so much. Is she going to be a good Killer Frost? Are they going to still call her Killer Frost? Like, because d isn't Killer Frost a killer? Is that how she got her name? Or is it just that her cold is so cold that it can kill you, so they still call her Killer Frost? I don't know what they're going to call her, but is she going to still be a part of the team? Is she going to be able to change back from being Killer Frost back to Caitlyn? Are they going to come up with a serum and, like, fix her? What do you guys think is going to happen I like her as Killer Frost. I thought her character was really awesome, but I don't want to leave. I don't want to lose cute Caitlyn Snow. Like I love Caitlyn a lot, and I would hate to see that character go away in freaking 
you know, what is it, in replace of freaking Killer Frost. Like, I don't want her to be replaced by Killer Frost. I want my Caitlyn Snow because I love freaking Caitlyn. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen with Caitlyn and the whole Killer Frost character. One thing I want to throw out there, make sure you guys go watch my Flash video that I posted only a couple of days ago. It was super late. It was from last week's episode. I posted it really late because I was going through some shit. But go watch it because I did clear up a lot of things about Savitar and Dr. Alchemy. So if you guys want those theories about those two characters, go watch that video. I know some of you might have skipped over it because you already saw the episode. You didn't need to hear anything. Trust me, I talked a lot more about Savitar and Dr. Alchemy in that other video. So make sure you go and watch it if you haven't. Before I go, we hit 15K recently and I said I'm going to do a Q&A video. So I want you guys to ask some questions with the hashtag freaking ask juice 15 k you can send them to me on twitter you can leave them in the comment sections down below i'm going to say it in this video and probably my next video and then i'll just take whatever questions i get and do a q a with that so make sure you send me in those questions if you want to know some things anyways guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with all your flash buddies don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel as always i am your host juice box remember when you wake up in the morning ask yourself something have I had my daily dose of juice? See you guys next time. Beep.